A lot of you might have older versions of Photoshop where you can't even use DT Prep. It may be your version so old you don't have smart layers. So let's do this old school. We're going to select all and copy and then go to file new. Now Photoshop knows what you just copied. So this should match your original image. Hit OK and now paste. Now we'll go to image mode grayscale and then bring up the levels. Now here I'm going to start by dragging this shadow in to the right and I usually drag it till it reaches at least this outside edge of the dark pixels. And now on the highlight end, however far we drag this to the left, anything that turns pure white is going to be protected from the halftones. And now the midtones, as we adjust this, when you see gray, that means there's going to be halftones. Get too much of this and those halftones will start to look bad on your transfer. Now, after hitting OK, we'll go to image mode bitmap. Make sure you're set to halftone screen. Hit OK. And this is a good place to start. 35, 26, and ellipse or round or line, whatever dot you want to choose. And hit OK. Now there's your halftones that you'll use for a mask in the other file. So select all and copy. Flip back to your original file. You're going to add a layer mask and then hold the option down or alt on the PC and click that layer mask and now paste that mask that you just made in the other file. And there you have it, your half toned image. Since you tend to lose some of the color when you half tone, you may want to go to image adjustments, hue saturation, and here you can bump up your saturation. And now file export, quick export as PNG, and that's what you'll send to your DTF printer.